once upon a time there was a simple and a beautiful girl named Cinderella. She lived with her evil stepmother and two stepsisters. The stepmother did not like her and made her do all the household work. Her stepsisters just never had to work. They just roamed around the house in their fancy dresses. They always made fun of Cinderella because of her plain dressing. One day, a letter from the king came to their house which said that the king is having a ball tonight and his son, the prince, would be choosing a wife. Every girl in the kingdom must be aware. Everyone got excited about this. Cinderella, who wanted to go to the ball, her stepsisters told her that she can go if she completes all her work on time and also helps her stepsisters with their dresses. Cinderella worked as fast as she could to get everything done by there was always something left. At last, she was left at home disappointed. She was so sad that she ran to the garden and said, Wishes never come true. Never, my dear, said a voice. As Cinderella looked up, a little woman with a wand and a kind smile stood in front of her. She was her fairy godmother. She wanted to help Cinderella go to the ball. With a wave of her hand, she made Cinderella look like a princess. Before leaving, the fairy godmother said, This magic will only last until midnight. When Cinderella entered the palace, everybody was awestruck by her beauty. She was the prettiest girl at the ball. Even her stepsisters didn't recognize her. The handsome prince also saw her and fell in love with her. All the other girls were very jealous of her because the prince danced with her the whole night. However, she enjoyed herself so much that she almost forgot what the fairy godmother had told her. However, when she saw the time and remembered the godmother's words, she quickly left the palace and ran away. In all the hurry, one glass slipper which she was wearing was left on the castle steps. The prince had fallen in love with her and wanted to find out who she was as he wanted to marry her. The next day, he ordered his kingdom to go to every house in the land and find the girl whose foot fits in the glass slipper. When they reached Cinderella's house, two stepsisters tried their best to squeeze their big feet into the slipper. Finally, when the Cinderella tried the slipper, her foot fit perfectly into the glass slipper. The prince recognized her from the ball night. He married Cinderella soon in a grand ceremony and they lived happily ever after.